What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags and today my dudes I'm gonna be showing you how to build a very easy bubble column water elevator. Now I've done this before but this is a little bit of a different design and also this is the simplest way to do this. So let's get into it. Now before I show you dudes what you're gonna need to build this I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Now, there's two sides to this elevator. There is the soul sand side that will launch you all the way up there. And then there's the magma block side, which will pull you all the way from up there down to here. Okay, so example, there we go. Boom, got a trap door. And then we come to this side, boom, we get sucked down. All right, let's build this thing. All right, to build these things, we're gonna need two water buckets to build ourselves an infant water source. Then we're gonna need some signs, a piece of soul sand, a one magma block, and then we're gonna need some building supplies. Now, if you guys already have an area you're building this in, then uh, you won't need building supplies, but I'm just doing this for example. So let's find somewhere to build this thing. All right, I found my area. So the first thing you're gonna do is just put a hole in the ground and you're going to build your soul sand side like this. So you're gonna place that down and then you're gonna build all the way around it like that. And we're just going to build the tower here. All right, so I built a tower. Now we're going to put a face on the tower to hold the water in here. So let's go ahead and put this up here. Next thing you're going to do is put uh, two blocks right there. And you're going to put two signs, one, two, like that. And you are going to put a infant water source down now. So go ahead, put an infant water source down just like that. And then now to actually get this to work, you're going to have to put a water bucket on every single level. So every single level. So that level, that level, that level, that level, and that level. And as long as you, you'll know it's working now if you see bubbles coming up, all right? And if you float at the top of it like this. All right, now let's go ahead and make our magma block side. So I'm going to come down here and dig a hole in the ground there, place a magma block, and then build a tower up just like we did over here. And we're going to place two sides, just like the other side, like that. And we're going to do the same thing. Grab our water buckets and put a water block, uh, well, water bucket on each block, just like that. Now, you'll know if this is working if you step on it and it drags you down like that, all right? Now, you're going to need to crouch if you're in survival mode, which obviously you guys are, or else this will happen. And you don't want that to happen, or else you can die. All right, then you place some trap doors down in front of it. Boom, boom, like that. And uh, there you go. You have your water bubble column elevator. And uh, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, it works really good. And it's the most easiest way to make one. Now, I'm going to, in the future, if you guys like this design, make sure to smash that like button, of course. But if we get enough likes on this, if we get a thousand likes on this, I will get, I will make a more complicated version where you can actually switch the magma block and the soul sand in one tube with a sticky piston. And uh, we'll get into some complicated redstone. So make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed it. All right, my dudes, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Don't forget to hit the sub button and don't forget to hit that bell. And let me know in the comments if it's working for you, if you need any help. And uh, yeah, have yourselves an amazing day. Peace out, my dudes.